Today we're talking scout troopers. Bunch of pretty boys. You got something you want to say back there? Yeah, they think they're better than the rest of us. Just because they got a bunch of speeder bikes, anyone could do that. Someone didn't get into scout trooper school, did they? I could have if I wanted to, and if they hadn't rejected my application multiple times. There it is. Hello all, I'm Josh, this is Josh Build Stuff, and today we are talking about the all-new Scout Trooper helmet from LEGO Star Wars, the fourth helmet released as a part of this helmet collection. This set costs $50, which is cheaper than the other helmets in the collection, but it is only 471 pieces, which is slightly fewer pieces. The Darth Vader helmet is the fifth helmet in this collection. It was released at the same time, though that set is $70, though that set is more pieces. It's a whole thing. My initial impression of this set, I am pleasantly surprised by it. I think it lives up to the standard set by the helmets previously released, though I've seen a lot of people online say that this is the best helmet of the bunch. They don't say that this is their favorite helmet of the bunch, but that's the internet for you. They tend to be a little more subjective than objective. Is that the right? I always get those backwards. Is that the right way of using those? Why am I asking you? Is that the right way of using those? Subjectivity involves your own personal feelings. Objectivity disregards all of that. Got it. Thank you. The build for this set was actually really great. I know I say that about a lot of sets, but this one was actually impressive and very enjoyable, especially for me as an older adult LEGO fan. There are plenty of 18 plus sets that seem to just get that title because of their level of complexity, and this set, I think, kind of falls into that same category because the build for this was extremely interesting. And I don't think that all of that complexity really comes through in the final build. You have to build this one for yourself, I think, to truly appreciate it. In some ways, it's like a brickhead set, or any of the other basically spherical sets that LEGO is releasing lately where you build some kind of internal structure with the studs not on top and then you kind of stick the sides and the face plates onto it. But this set, because of the very complex shapes of the face plates and the helmet, or I guess the whole thing's a helmet, but I mean, you know, the, the very complex lines and shapes and curves of this thing, it is a very complex build. And I think it's a marvel that LEGO is able to achieve these shapes at such a scale and for such a price. And all of that adds up to a very enjoyable build experience. This set, like I said, from a build perspective is extremely impressive. The curves, the shapes, the lines, all of the studs facing all kinds of different directions. It's incredibly impressive how this thing is able to be put together, literally. From an accuracy standpoint, I also think LEGO hit the nail on the head pun intended, I guess they hit the trooper on the head in this case. I think LEGO did a really great job capturing the essence of a scout trooper's helmet. I'm not even that familiar with the look of a scout trooper's helmet, but upon comparing this helmet to the real deal, LEGO did an amazing job, especially considering the scale that they had to build this thing down to. It's less than 500 pieces, and yet this is what they were able to come up with. Those people at LEGO, I'm starting to think they really know what they're doing. At its base, there's some level of sphericalness, sphericalness that's just going to be built into any helmet. But then on top of that, you got this visor piece, which comes around the entire faceplate of the helmet. It's got very interesting lines and curves in and of itself. And then around the back of the helmet, there's even like a rounded piece that kind of goes around the back three quarters of the entire helmet. That technique is actually very similar to what was done on the Stormtrooper build. And then we get to the faceplate of this helmet. And that's got the weirdest, most interesting shapes of them all. And they had to come to this kind of pointed front at the mouth area and then the visor, I guess the, the eye piece of this helmet is set slightly backwards. There's interesting shapes around the brow and nose cone area of this helmet. The whole thing is, it's a very complex shape, like I said, for Lego to have taken on. And honestly, I don't know that they could have done a better job without scaling up the size of this piece and that would have made the thing a lot more expensive and a lot less accessible to us Lego fans. So as, as I keep saying, I think Lego did an amazing job with this build into any Star Wars fan casual or otherwise, I think this set would make a great addition to any collection. When lining up this helmet next to the other three that I've already built and even keeping Vader in mind, I still don't know that I would say that this helmet is my favorite. Maybe from a technical perspective, this one is the most impressive. Then again, this may just be the most recent one that I built. In any case, in this house, we're just kind of partial to stormtroopers and so it's hard for me to beat that bias. But if you are completely objective, uh, like you should be, then I think this helmet may rank very high against the other existing helmets. Also, if you try really hard and spend like 10 minutes trying to pose him just right, then you can fit this Scout Trooper helmet on the head of the Scout Trooper buildable figure that came out a couple of years ago with the big Scout bike piece. I actually really like that Scout Trooper and the, I guess it's more of a Technic speeder bike at this point. That set is 
very cool and the best of the buildable figure line if you can uh, lump it in with the rest of those. But uh, I stuck this helmet on top of that uh, figure's body and I think it looks hilarious, though it is precarious and it will fall over quite easily. So don't try that at home, kids. In any case, I thought it would be cool to show these two sets side by side. And if you had like a whole scout trooper shrine at home, I don't know what kind of weirdo would have that kind of thing sitting around, uh, then this helmet would look really great displayed next to that buildable figure. I don't know why I pointed to the stormtrooper like he's the weirdo that displays a bunch of stormtroopers. That's me. I'm the weirdo. I have that stormtrooper and many other stormtroopers just displayed throughout this space. But as always, I want to hear from you. What do you think about this new Scout Trooper helmet? Are you going to buy it? How do you think this set stacks up against the existing Star Wars helmets that we've already got? And what Star Wars helmets would you like to see released in the future? I've got a couple in mind personally, but I might try to build those myself. So I'm not going to say what they are right now. Also, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Scout Trooper. Storm Trooper. Scout Trooper. Storm Trooper. Scout Trooper. Storm Trooper. Scout Trooper. Storm Trooper. Storm Trooper. Scout Trooper. Ah. Ah. Uh, 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 uh.